This is Mark Dell with Android Spin, and this review is for Pew Pew 2 by Jean-Francois Jalen. Pew Pew 2 is a dual joystick vector based shooter that feels heavily influenced by Bizarre Creations Geometry Wars 2, but it takes things a few steps further. Pew Pew 2 includes double the ships and modes from the original Pew Pew, along with 17 campaign missions. So the game feels like it's really evolved from where it started, at least in terms of sheer content. Each mode is a slightly different variation of the same premise, shoot, dodge, collect. Some levels will simply task you with killing everything on the screen, another requires you to change the colour of your ship to shoot the enemies matching the colour, and one removes your weapons completely so you'll spend the whole level collecting and dodging. Upon reaching one of the preset score goals in the missions, you'll unlock extra ships, which helps you give something to shoot for while you're playing through these endless missions. But if the promise of unlocking extra ships isn't enough of a draw for you, then you can not only compete against your top score, but also view the top scores and replays online. It would have been nice to have some kind of social networking integration here though, as there's no way to compete with friends, rather than some of the killer scores on the leaderboards. The combat is always coming fast and frantic, and you'll constantly need to pay attention to what's going on everywhere around you. Each level does ease you in somewhat, but it's never too long before it's near impossible to keep yourself alive, while worrying about reducing the number of enemies so you can keep going just that little bit longer. The gameplay is certainly one of the best assets of Pew Pew 2. The constant struggle to keep going while dealing with the increasing numbers becomes very addictive as you find yourself doing just a little bit better each time. The campaign mode also has its draws, with its various difficulty levels and wide variety of levels, although some of the level objectives can become a little bit frustrating. The simplistic graphical style is a lot like the vector-based arcade games from the early 80s, and this keeps the game running at a very smooth pace. The vector style has aged very well, but then again no 80s arcade machine looked quite this good. Particle effects fly across the screen as waves of bullets strike your foes, and parts of the levels pulse to the great music beating in the background. There are no sound effects in Pew Pew 2, but the music keeps playing constantly throughout the game and menus, and it suits the action well. Pew Pew 2 can be quite a challenging game, but it's a whole lot of fun regardless of your skill level, even more so if you enjoy its fast-paced arcade style. 